Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another episode of making patterns off my followers to do list. You guys will love this series. It's gonna keep happening. This is my favorite videos to do. Like I love this. So yeah, all of the patterns that I made in this video will be linked down below for your convenience so you can make them if you want to as well. I will not be doing any in-depth tutorials on any individual one of these bracelets. However, I do have a video on how to read alpha pattern, which I will link down below so you can go ahead and watch that if you want to learn how to make these bracelets for yourself. If you guys haven't seen my last video, which I understand not everyone likes outer banks, but I have added a ton of new stuff to my Etsy, so definitely go to it and check it out. I have so many new products on there. If you guys are OGs, you might remember these two bracelets. I brought them back. I also have these really adorable pumpkin keychains out again, and I made a ton of these daisy bracelets in tons of different colors. I have more than just these too. I also brought my boba keychains back with a new color added, and I also have these really huge strawberry milk keychains. Are you seeing this? Look how cute it is. So yeah, my Etsy will be linked down below if you guys want to check that out. Not to mention all the keychains and bracelets that I make in today's video are going to also be listed on my Etsy at the time that this video is uploaded, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these bracelets you can go over there and check them out okay that's enough talking though let's get into the video all right you guys here we are we're gonna go to my friends list and we're gonna start filtering through let me go ahead and accept this request maybe there we go okay i'm gonna start filtering through these and finding people to rate their to-dos oh my god do you guys see this little hamster oh my gosh Okay, this is Maxine right here. Well, they're 11 years old. That is so cute. Oh my god, they have 242 to-dos. Are you joking right now? Oh my gosh, this little bear. That is so cute. And so is this little reindeer. Oh, sorry, I just checked the camera. Oh my, oh my god, I did it again. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I actually saved this one to my to-do list. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's, I don't know, maybe, maybe one day. Oh my gosh, I really like this. Oh, this is really cute. It's a little toucan. It, I definitely would make this into a wall hanging. Oh my god, are you seeing that? Whoa, okay. There's no photos, but I really like this a lot. This is super cute. I think I'm going to go with this. I'm going to look through the rest of them just in case because there's so many. The baby Yoda is so cute. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this toucan wall hanging. I really like this one. Okay, let me go back to my friends list. Guys, look, it's a cat with a creeper. That is so cute. Okay, this is Valeria underscore 30. I have 106 to do's. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and look through these. Oh my gosh, this wizard frog. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I like this. This is really cute. It's like leaves and acorns. I'm kind of wanting to make something with like fall vibes. So that one could be really good. Oh my god, the stonks. Are you joking? <laughs> yeah, I actually really like this leaf bracelet. I think this one is really cute. Let me see if there's photos. Oh my god, there's 70. Wow. Look at how cute! Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Wow. Yep, okay. I'm gonna do this one next. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl, your profile picture? Slay. Absolutely slay my life. Literally slayed my whole existence, okay? <laughs> this is Bibiv. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. They have 92 to do's. So let's look through them. I still need to make this gummy bear pattern. This comes up in almost every single one of these videos and I have yet to make it. So, wow, these are really cool. Oh, I love the lavender as well and like the moons. The problem I have with doing these videos is that you guys will go through my to-dos and add my to-dos to here, which is kind of funny, but it's okay. Oh, look at this mushroom one. Okay, oh. That's cute. Okay, wait, let me look through the rest of them and see what else there is. Hmm, okay. See, there's a ton of patterns like this out there, like the mushrooms, the flowers, the frogs, the whatever, you know what I'm talking about? But my issue with these patterns is that there's just so many color switches like along the edge 
that every time I do one of these, they come out like super crooked. But I kind of want to challenge myself and maybe do it. I really like, there's so many variations to these. They look so cool. Okay, I think I might try this one. Oh my gosh, like look at this. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, no, we're going to do this one. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll do this one. Hopefully mine turns out good. And I guess I'll just go with this random person right here. <laughs> they have a cute like Donald Duck in like a little double costume as their profile picture. Their name is Fima. They're 11 years old. They're in the Michael's thread section. I like that a lot. That's fun. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. They have 498 to do's. You've gotta be kidding me right now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sit here for the next 30 minutes and I will get back to you guys when I find a pattern that I like. Wait, the Dr. Pepper. Okay, that's gonna go on my personal to-do list. Um, I'm just gonna, yep, okay, I'll be right back. I literally am drinking one right now as we're talking. <laughs> I'm, I have one right next to me. Okay, I think I like this one. This little like couple sunset one. Oh, but I also like this one. It says stay positive. That one's cute too. Let me look at, oh, okay. Oh wait, this one's cute, but then there's also this one. I, maybe I'll just do both. Maybe we'll just do like, what, like five or something in this episode? Okay, I think I have everything that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go through them really quick. So I have this toucan wall hang, so cute. I love this thing so much. This is pattern number 101525. Um, I have this like leafy acorn bracelet. This is number, oh, it's by Soda Pop. This is number 53669. And then this cute um, mushroom bracelet, and this is number 73881. Uh, and then this really cute, like, sunset couple silhouette thing. Um, this is number 96818. And then lastly, this, like, stay positive one. I'm gonna, like, definitely cut it off. I'm not gonna make it this long. It's 142 rows. I'm not making it that long. So I'll probably cut it off you know, and make it shorter so it could be like more like a, an actual keychain. Um, but this is number 91216 on bracelet book. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get into this. So I think it's probably best that we do the easy ones first. So I think I'm gonna start with this like fall one. Alrighty, so these are the colors that I have. Um, I'm gonna do a maroon background. I think that that's kind of fun. It's a little bit more dark and like fall-like, which I think will be nice. Usually I do white backgrounds, but I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So we're going to do maroon. I literally have so much of this color and I like never use it. So we're going to use it. And then I have two shades of green for one leaf and then two shades of orange for the other one. And then I have these two shades of brown to use for the acorns and to use for the stem in the leaf as well. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. So let's go ahead and get into the knotting process. All right, so this is how the bracelet turned out. I really like it. I think it's totally fall vibes. I feel like the brown's a little bit hard to see. I kind of wish I would have used a darker brown. I don't know if that would have helped. I'm not sure, but I still think this bracelet is so pretty and just like perfect for the fall time. So the next pattern we're gonna do is this like mushroom bracelet. There's a ton of variations on it and I'm gonna use this blue one. So this is the original, which I really like, but I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is just so cute. So I have to make this one. So I'm gonna do something similar to this blue background, pink and purple mushrooms. So I'm gonna use this blue thread for the background. And then I have my two shades of purple and then my two shades of pink. And I have like these two tannish brown colors for like the stem of the mushroom as well. Then I have some yellow for the little flowers that are on it. And then some white for the dots in the mushroom. And then also a little bit of green for the little flower vine stems. And then I think I'm going to use the dark pink as like the flower center. So yeah, but I'm really excited to make this one. So let's go ahead and just get into the bracelet.
All right, so here is the finished bracelet. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. It is so like springtime and just bright and I really like how it turned out. I tried really hard to keep my edges straight because a lot of the times with these bracelets when there's so many color switches along the edge, it's really easy to let your edges get super messed up but I feel like I didn't do a horrible job. I think it looks better than a lot of the other tries that I've had before, but yes, I am really obsessed with how this bracelet turned out. And then here's the back of it as well, super messy. I tried to clean up a little bit, but yeah, really messy. So the next pattern we're gonna do is this like couple sunset one. I really love it, I think it's super pretty and I loved, oh look, there's like bigger versions too. Um, I loved looking at photos, like, oh my gosh, they just look so good. I loved this one in particular, I think that looks really nice. I have a ton of colors for this. So this is like the darkest like teal color that I have. It's not as dark as I would like it to be, but that's what we're working with. And then this teal for the next color. And then I'm gonna be using this tan color next in the sunset. And then I have this pale pink and then this darker pink. And then I'm using this like burnt orange color for like the sun that's in the sunset. And then of course, um, white for like the stars and stuff. And then there's also like some darker brown at like the very bottom of the sunset. So there's that as well. And then also some black for the silhouette outline. So yeah, a lot of colors going on, but I'm excited to make this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is how that sunset keychain turned out. I do quite like it. I feel like my colors were a little bit off, but I still think that they worked out. And I added this really cute star charm to the top. I thought that that would be a really cute touch just to give it some more flair, but I really like how it turned out. The back looks pretty good too. I feel like the edges are pretty straight as well. And I really like this one. Alrighty, so this is the next pattern that we're going to be making. It's just cute, like stay positive. Thing. I'm gonna cut it off to like here-ish and then I already edited it in my phone to like add more smiley faces and stuff around here So it's not as like sparse So my color scheme is gonna be pretty simple for this one I'm using this darker blue for like the darker parts and then this lighter blue for like the background and stuff And then I'm using obviously some white thread um, These are both the DMC Petra threads in size 5 I really like them. The lighting is super weird right now, so you can't really see the colors as true as they are. But I pretty much use these for like everything. They're just good colors. I don't know. I, I'm a mess. But anyways, let's get into making this keychain as well. Alright, so here is the finished keychain. I really like how it turned out. I kind of wish that I made it a little bit shorter because I feel like it's quite long. Um, and I kind of wish I used more like, I guess like vibrant colors. The dark blue that's outlining the words, you can't really see it that well. You can kind of tell, but I wish I kind of used colors that were more different, but I still really like how it turned out and I did change like the smiley face positioning um, so that it worked more with the design, but I think this turned out really nice and I'm really happy with it. And there's the back. All right, so this is the last and final pattern we're gonna be making. This one's gonna take me quite a while, but I'm excited. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go really different with the color scheme here and I'm pretty excited about it. So of course, I just have some white 
some black and then a little bit of orange for like the toucan and i think i'm gonna also use black for like the center of the flowers i might use something different i don't know we'll see um and then for the leaves i'm gonna use this green and then this green as well together and then for the flowers, I want to use this like really bright like magenta. I just want this to be super bright and like tropical looking. And then for the background, I'm going to use this really bright. This looks so bright on camera. Um, this blue for the background. I'm really excited. So um, this is going to be a wall hanging because it's like 40 strings or something. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get on into making this. All right, you guys, here is the final wall hanging. Are you looking at this? Are you seeing this? Look at how amazing. I think this is so pretty and fun. Here's the back of it. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I really like how this turned out. It just looks so good. Are you joking? Okay. I really wanted it to be like super bright and colorful and it definitely is. So it definitely was what I was going for and I really love it. So it has the um, top up here. And I tied it in a little bow at the top as well. There is clear nail polish on this, so it won't come undone. So it's kind of stiff. It looks so good. I love it. So yeah, that was basically all of the things that we made in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed everything. Maybe I should move these. There we go. Yay! All right, so that was the entire video. I made so many things in this episode. First, we have this like fall leaf and acorn bracelet. I really like how this one came out. I think it's just super cute for fall. I also really like um, how bright the colors are. I think they really stand out against the dark background. And then we have the little mushroom bracelet. I also like this one a lot as well. I think it looks really pastel and cute i think it looks adorable i really like this one and then the whole like sunset no it's not a sunset it's like um i guess that is a sunset i just realized you have the moon and the sun in one okay i don't know anyways it's cute though and it has a cute star charm i think the star charm really um adds to it and looks way cuter with the charm on it then this gigantic stay positive keychain it's huge like it is very large but i think it's super cool i love like the little smiley faces and stuff all around it i really like this one and then the big the big boy i don't know this wall hanging i really like this one it's this toucan with like the flowers and the leaves it's super bright and colorful which is what i was definitely going for and i just think it turned out super fun i really like it i think it's so cute also in my free time i made this aerial wall hanging oh my god are you looking at this look how good it looks it looks so good it looks so good i love this thing and i want to keep it i do want to keep it but i don't know because if i were to keep it it would literally just like sit in a box my problem is is like you guys always ask for like a bracelet collection video since the last one i posted like a year ago i have not added a single new bracelet because everything i make i sell so <laughs> i'm i kind of want to like start creating my own little bracelet collection again because like i don't have it i don't have one like i just sell them all so but i just love it i think i'm gonna keep it i don't know anyways that was this video thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i'll see you guys in my next video bye